What's up guys, it's me, your boy Steve Ryan here, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing a topic that I've done before, kind of, I've done this kind of video before where I discussed a site or a website and I would say if it's legit, personally from my experiences and the way a uh, service were, was worked. So in this video, last time I did, is fragrancenet.com legit. Some of you guys, it was controversial, some of you guys agreed, some of you guys didn't agree. And I've realized, just to update you guys on that video, I realized that they are legit still. I think they still are legit. I uh, realized that they send you um, magazines and newspapers after you use them uh, for one purchase. Which kind of was kind of bad because I still get magazines and newspapers from them. Uh, and I haven't ordered from them for like a month. So it's been coming. Uh, and that's why I don't like one thing about FragranceNet. But today I'm going to be talking about is Notino.com legit? Notino.com I've shopped for about 6-7 months from them and I've gone about I think 10 colognes uh, total I think from them. I, uh, I've got Valentino Womo Intense recently, uh, I made a video about that, you can check it out in the description below. And I've also gone Pure Malt about a few months, 4 or 5 months ago. I got this uh, really cheap, I, I got it for like $50 and right now it goes for about $75, $77 I think. So Pure Malt I got pretty recent and I also got Versace Dun Blue pretty recently too uh, from Natino. So obviously I've also got a lot of samples as you can see, a lot of samples um, but I just want to say are they legit or not and obviously all these clones I've checked. I've made sure, you know, how long should Versace Dun Blue last? How should Vers Versace Dun Blue smell? How should uh, Valentino Womo last? Is there any reformulations? Am I, have I got the reformulated version? Have I got a fake or whatever, you know? I haven't got any fakes, no fakes, you know, uh, no uh, fakes in um, purchasing, so I didn't get scammed or anything. And also, their service is on point, you know, they arrive on time. Sometimes they even arrive a day early, uh, which is even better. Um, and also, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Um, this is just my own opinion about the company. So they are, they care for the customers. They um, provide authentics, uh, not fakes. Um, personally, from my experience, I've gone about seven, eight colognes from them, and three of them I just not showed off. And they're all real. Pretty much, I think that Latino.com is legit. From my opinion, basically, I think they are legit, and I think most people agree with me, just because it's more favored versus FragranceNet.com. FragranceNet.com is like the second level. Natino is the first level. Uh, that's what I think personally. I think Natino is a little better than FragranceNet.com, but I think also still that FragranceNet.com is still legit. But they do send out magazines and newspapers um, after you purchase from them. That's why I don't like. But Natino, everything's fine with Natino. I like them. Uh, good service. And they are legit in my opinion. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, click the like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And you can check out my uh, videos for Valentino Womo and the Pure Malt video. Um, description below and peace